Hi, what, Gil. What we got? We are going to do a review of um, what I call the granddaddy. This is a test. What is it? It's, <laughs> it's a KBT 741. Go, Gil! So it's one of the older, yeah. original models that we've yep. had in the U.S. Yep. Um, so you're just going to take me through its story. Yes. The T is for thermos. This happens to be a thermo carafe, and it does come in a glass carafe as well, but the T stands for thermo. Okay. And it's a double wall stainless. Mm -hmm. Right there. Comes with a regular lid to put on it. And this is the brew through lid. See the difference? Mm hmm. The water brews through, goes down to the bottom, and it doesn't, it's such a small hole, it does not let a lot of the heat escape. Okay. Take that out, put this in, and you can, you know, you can use it that way mm -hmm. once you've brewed. Um, 10 cup. Now, this is 10 European cups, which is 4 ounce cups, 40 ounces okay. screws. The water goes up, and, and you get this deluxe scoop. <laughs> it's two tablespoons. Um, the water goes in here. It goes down into the copper boiler, which is located inside here. Mm -hmm. And then it percolates up through here like a science experiment. Goes up to the shower arm. Water goes in here, travels across, and sprinkles down onto the coffee, which is in here. And this is a uh, takes a number four, either gold tone filter or paper filter. Okay. Just a regular cone, four. So the what that makes this one a little bit different than some of the newer ones as well. Right here. Mm -hmm. This is the old design. In this position, uh, the the flow of the drip down into the craft is shut off completely. See so if you want to get a cup during the brew. Okay. Okay. In this position, the second one up, right there. That's for brewing two to five cups. And what it does is it slows the flow through the coffee because you have less coffee. It would go through way too fast. Wouldn't take as taste as full and rich. Got it. And then in this position is for the full pot. Okay. That lets it go through normally. And you could also do a little pre-infuse if you wanted to make it a little more rowdy. You could. Uh, as long as you remember this, it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it will overflow everywhere. Yes, Yay! it will. So the other thing that this has, and people don't always catch it, this right here, this white button. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the carafe in all the way, people say my machine doesn't run. It won't run. That disables the electric part of it. It won't do anything. Oh, okay. Zip zero nothing. Got it. Okay. Cool. So well, we're gonna pause. We're gonna brew up a pot. Yeah, we're gonna take you a pot and see what you think. And then the other thing that we suggest is preheat this with hot water before you ever brew into it because then it'll keep it hot longer. Sounds great. Okay. Water in here, and we're gonna do seven scoops. That's Did their recommendation. Seven. Yeah, for a full pot. For so full that's pot. like fourteen tablespoons. Now. Oh. Yeah, and you can change it more or less. Obviously, if you change, you know, depending on your grind, um, we we tend to use a little bit of a finer grind here. But some people like it coarser, and then you might want to do more. So you got you can play with it. You were trying to distract me, weren't you? So I wouldn't count. Oh, sorry, I could lose count. Where'd you get? Where'd you get? Where'd you get? Where'd you get? Telling you, folks. Uh, okay. People do that to me all Make the time sure. because they know it works. All right. And we preheated the carafe. It's on. It's going to take about five minutes, and we'll see in about 30 seconds. We're going to see the experiment appear. So, what do we call it, Kat? The lava the lamp. The lava lamp. I wish we could put some colored water I'm in there. Not, I'm not old enough to really remember lava lamps. You are, like too. You know, really. <laughs> Here you are. Here you are. You were a little kid. <laughs> I remember them up close and personal. <laughs> Okay, now yep. you want to show up here that it's starting to do its story oh, yeah. down in there. It's going to take about five minutes. Mm -hmm. So and it kind of does, it releases some and then pause it. It has little tiny... Sp yeah, as it glurks up here and it boils up and travels over, then it isn't quite as hot. Does it is all that, is that the scientific name for it? Yeah, yeah. Is it glurks? Glurks. Glurgle and glurk. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Yep couple of drips coming out of there but basically it's done let's just shut that thing off there see it don't want to stop yeah, grammy unless if some ground's caught in it <laughs> stop it wow stop it okay we're good let's just get a taste here <laughs> that's the that's the pro move right there you guys i think there's throw a rag underneath it i think there's some grounds caught in the little valve okay so you can take this out. Take that out. Put this in if you want. You don't have to. You can pour from that one too. Okay. Let's open it to pour, huh? <laughs> 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 
getting old. That's for you, Kat. Thanks, Gail. No prob. This is for me. See what she's like. Mmm. Mmm. Very rich. Mm. Very delicious. Ooh, that is really good. Somehow, that's better than usual. And it's You're better than usual, Grammy. <laughs> right. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm. That is a delicious cup of coffee. So that's the KBT. 741. 741. Cool. Right there. Just like that. Of course, you, you can't put this back under here with that lid on there. It won't want to live no, there. We're going to let those dribbles go down in there. Cool. All right. Thank All you, right. Gail. You're welcome. Hi, what, Gail. What we got? We are going to do a review of um, what I call the granddaddy. This is a test. What is it? It's, <laughs> it's a KBT 741. Go, Gail! So it's one of the older yeah. original models that we've yep. had in the U.S. Yep. Um, so you're just going to take me through its story. Yes. The T is for a thermos. This happens to be a thermo carafe, and it does come in a glass carafe as well, but the T stands for thermo. Okay. And it's a double wall stainless mm -hmm. right there. comes with a regular lid to put on it, and this is the Bruce 